There are thousands of types of animals in this world, but only one is for me, horses. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Abbott, and I am a second year member of the Harrington Sunshine 4-H Club, and I am 11 years old. The reason I chose horses over all the other animals in the world is because there are endless things you can use a horse for, such as jumping, pleasure, liberty, dressage, work horses, cart horses, and all types of rodeo. But instead of spending all day finding the different types of horses to you, I will tell you why I love them so much. I love that they are so historical. They pop up all over the history books. They're in the Bible times, medieval times. They're with the settlers, the cowboys, all the way up until now. Another thing I love about horses is that they come in all kinds of colors and sizes. Speaking of sizes, I wonder why horses are measured in hands and not feet when they have four feet and no hands. <laughs> Fun fact, some horses can be up to six feet tall, some even taller. My favorite breed or color of horse is Palomino because they look very pretty. And, and even though Palominos are smaller, there is just something about the coloring that I just love. A crucial part of owning a horse is of course feeding is of course feeding it. Horses eat an assortment of fruits and vegetables, and of course, they're right to their feet or brain mix. I, I was first interested in horses by my grand godmother's miniature horse, Little Man. He pulls a cart and is the sweetest little stall pacer around. I enjoy driving the cart and brushing him, and I especially love playing follow the leader. He walks in circles around his stall. Recently, I started taking riding lessons, and I loved it so much that this summer, I visited my aunt's horse farm, and I am now cantering. I learned new techniques while I was there. Another thing I learned there is that in different periods of history, there are different methods of doing things, as simple as getting tapped up. Another fascinating thing about horses is that they're the only other living things besides humans that wear shoes. Speaking of shoes, horses should be shoed or trimmed every few months. Another thing that horses and humans have alike is that they both live a relatively long life. Some horses can live up to 35 years, and some even longer. Some t something else that is very important about horses is that they are very much work. They need to be fed and watered two times a day, clean their stalls at least once, and they need exercise daily. And they must be groomed and brushed. And also, if they have worked hard in the heat, they should be bathed. One of my favorite things about horses is the noises they make. The clink clops and the lip flops, and especially the neighs. So in conclusion, I know that horses are just right for me, and I hope that I can one day own one myself.